In this video, I'm going to show you how I shot and edited an entire nature documentary for the Discovery Channel in my backyard. We're rolling. There's spiders galore here. I'm going to be giving away this print that I shot in this video of a snail snailing around. It's also signed to one person that subscribes to my channel, turns the notifications bell on, and comments below letting me know that you've done so. No matter where you are in the world, I'll send it to you. This video is brought to you by Artlist, which is my new favorite source of sound and music for all my videos, from YouTube the whole way to TV broadcast documentaries. I just moved into this new house in Cape Town, which has the most incredible garden. South Africa is home to 43,565 40, 43, species of insects and in this garden alone there are probably hundreds. Long story short, I along with my small team, this is Liam, this is Christian. I'm Liam and I... I just said that, I literally just said your name. Just like, what do you do? I shoot and oh do God. the... Liam struggles to define exactly what it is that he does here because he does so much. I love you Liam, thank you. Okay, Hi. what do you do? I'm an editor. There we go. It's nice and simple. We've been working on this new series for the Discovery Channel called The Brew Show, where I complete all the crazy ideas in this idea book. It's a really dope series which has involved Casey Neistat, Logan Paul, and much more. I'll link it below. Now they've commissioned me to create a documentary called Big Little World, where the intention is to show what the world would look and sound like from an insect's perspective. What if you were Nick and Ron in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? In order to do this professionally, you'll need decent camera, a probe lens, a stable slider of some sort, a wireless follow focus, great sound and music, which is artless, and a garden with all kinds of bags. So we're not even bothering to shoot any sound here because I have to kind of imagine what the sound would be like if we were an ant as the audience. So that's going to be recreated in post using Artlist, which I'll show you how to do in a bit. It's crazy, bro. <gasps> we are now on a mission to find as many insects as possible in the garden. We have found one snail. Uh, oh, there's a frog. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's always great to move, uh, to move through something. I think this hollow tree. Oh no no no! What? Bug. I uncovered it. I uncovered like a yeah, colony of, of things here. I lost my pretty bug. The reason we track in with the probe lens is because it amplifies the subject. It makes it even larger than life, even larger than the probe lens itself is making the subject. So it just gives it this beautiful feeling of scale. Yes. Okay. Sick, bro. We got right, it. We got it. That's it. Yes. Let's cut. Off to the edit. With my YouTube videos, I usually prefer to choose the music first and then cut to the music. But with nature documentaries like this, I prefer to first make a rough cut so that I can then use that to help guide the selection of music. And then I make the cuts to the music thereafter. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, cool. The rough cut of the edit is now done, and now it's time to find the music. Sound effects are always done last when you have what's known as a picture lock, which basically means when no further changes will be made in the edit. Usually for big production documentaries like this, we'd use this professional studio. But it's not actually me that does the, the sound and music. It's Jason. 
But I'm gonna be using Artlist to create something just as great, or probably greater than Jason could do in the first place. Fair enough. Using none of these very complicated buttons. Okay, that took all of five minutes to find the perfect soundtrack. Back to the edit. Cool, the edit is done with the soundtrack. What I'm gonna do now is mute the soundtrack and recreate all the sounds using Artlist. For example, what I'm gonna need to do here with a snail shot is layer a bunch of sounds on top of one another to recreate the scenario of what it would be like being so close to the snail. <laughs> Cool, now we're gonna find the more detailed sounds. Pretty good. Because Artlist has so many different kinds of sound effects, what we can do is just look for weird things like goo, which, yeah, this doesn't sound too good, but the, the goo sound that I just found earlier, I mean, it could work. Okay, it's starting to work. It's pretty good. Okay, great, that's simple. So what I'm gonna do is apply the same steps to each clip, and then I'm gonna be done, and I'm gonna click export. Export done. Now I'm gonna show you the one minute cut down of the feature length documentary we made for Discovery Plus, which I'll link below. I hope you enjoy this cut. I hope you enjoyed watching that as much as I did making it with my team. Important to note, if you click on the link in the top of my description now, you get two months free of Artlist. Wait, that doesn't sound right. You get two months for free. Yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah, it's, as you've seen in this video, it's really, really worth it. Yeah, subscribe, turn your notifications bell on, comment below letting me know that you've done so, and stand a chance to win the print, the signed print of the snail that I showed you earlier. And other than that, don't forget, you're awesome, Brew, and I'll see you next week.